Hey guys, Nick with Phone Arena reporting for you from MWC 2014. Right now I'm checking out the LG G Pro 2 and I'm about to give it a quick hands-on comparison against Samsung's Galaxy S4 smartphone. Now clearly these two both are high-end Android devices, but there's actually quite a lot that sets them apart. Size of course is one of these things. As you can clearly see the Samsung Galaxy S4 even with its 5-inch display looks quite small compared to the LG G Pro 2 which comes with an even bigger 5.9-inch display. The resolution of both is 1080p, that's 1020 by 1920 pixels and needless to say both look outstanding, they're very clear and very sharp. The color presentation on the Samsung Galaxy S4 is slightly more uh, artificial, colors are slightly more boosted because the display uses Super AMOLED technology while the LG G Pro 2 comes with an IPS LCD panel which has slightly more natural, more eye-pleasing colors but then again color presentation is a matter of personal taste. The processor inside the Samsung Galaxy S4 is the Snapdragon 600 which runs at a clock speed of 1.9 GHz while the LG G Pro 2 comes with an even powerful Snapdragon 800 running at 2.3 GHz. Both devices are pretty powerful but the LG G Pro 2 definitely has the upper hand and should be more capable of running those heavy games and more demanding applications. The Samsung Galaxy S4 has 2 GB of RAM in it but the LG G Pro 2 comes with even more. It has 3 GB of RAM inside of it which means it's the better device for multitasking. It should do a much better job at keeping those apps loaded in the background and ready when you need them. When it comes to storage, there are 16 gigabytes inside of a base Samsung Galaxy S4, while the LG G Pro 2 has 32 gigabytes of native storage. Furthermore, this device right here has a micro SD slot, but since it's the Korean version, we cannot be 100% sure that the international version of the device will have a micro SD card slot as well. As far as battery life is concerned, both devices should last a pretty decent uh, time on a single charge. The Samsung Galaxy S4 has a battery capacity of about 2400 mAh, while the LG G Pro 2 comes with a 3200 mAh cell, but of course due to its size it should have a higher battery power requirement. Both handsets come with pretty capable cameras. The resolution of both is 13 megapixels and they also have a single LED flash built in. One of the extras that you get with the G Pro 2, however, is that its camera features optical image stabilization, while the camera on the Galaxy S4 relies solely on uh, digital image stabilization. What's more, the camera on the LG G Pro 2 is capable of recording video at 4K resolution, whereas the camera on the Galaxy S4 still does not support this feature. Speaking of cameras, we already know that the Galaxy S4 has a really decent camera with tons of features built into the camera application, but the LG G Pro 2 definitely doesn't lag behind. In fact, it has a few neat tricks up its sleeve. One of them is called Natural Flash. It's a feature that works at night. Basically, it takes a couple of photos simultaneously, one with the flash on and the other one without the flash. Then, an intelligent algorithm is used to combine these images, producing a single image of higher quality. Another extra that you get with the LG G Pro 2 is Magic Focus. Basically, when this feature is on, the camera takes a picture that can be refocused afterwards. Now let's move on to software. The LG G Pro 2 comes with Android 4.4 KitKat out of the box, while the Samsung Galaxy S4 is about to be updated to that version of Android. But naturally, both devices come with custom user interfaces. These add a whole bunch of extra features. For example, on the Samsung Galaxy S4, you're gonna find extras like blocking mode, which prevents the phone from ringing at particular times of the day, and multi-window, which lets you use two applications side by side. For example, you can have your browser on top and your media player at the bottom running side by side and both active simultaneously. But the LG G Pro 2 comes with a similar feature as well, which you access by holding down the back key and then you pick the applications that you want to have running simultaneously and drag their icons onto the area of the screen where you want them on. Moving further, on the LG G Pro 2 we have this cool new feature called a knock code. Basically the feature lets you set your own unlock 
pattern which taps on different areas of the screen. For example, this one has this particular tap pattern set on. And there you go, as you can see it works even while the phone is in a standby. As for their build quality and uh, specifications, the Samsung Galaxy S4 is definitely much easier to handle because of its uh, smaller size. It is also much lighter, much thinner and overall the more compact smartphone of these two. The back of the Galaxy S4 has a glossy finish, while the LG G Pro 2 comes with a textured back. It doesn't really reflect as much light as the Galaxy S4 does, but the LG G Pro 2 is quite more grippy compared to the Samsung Galaxy S4. The LG G Pro 2, however, isn't impossible to handle with a single hand because it comes with this extra feature that allows you to shrink the entire screen in a corner of the display so you can pretty much comfortably use the device with a single thumb of course not all the time but it should get the job done if you need to let's say find somebody in your contacts list shoot a quick text message or do stuff like that click the X button and you're back in full screen mode one more thing both devices have a single mono loudspeaker on their back sides but the LG G Pro 2 comes with an extra powerful 1 watt hi-fi speaker which is 30% more powerful compared to the loudspeaker on the previous generation LG G Pro 2 and probably more powerful compared to many other smartphones out there. So that concludes our quick hands-on comparison between the LG G Pro 2 and the Samsung Galaxy S4. For more details check out our website phonearena.com.